All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Reader. So we are doing a viewer request video and I say it all the time, there is nothing cooler than getting requests to do stocks. I swear, it's it's very humbling that you guys like my opinions and I really do my best to post these as quick as I can. There are a couple other viewer request tickers that I know I need to do. I will try to bang them out over the weekend. But today we are gonna look at PRST and SAI. Before we get into the details, what are we gonna do? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how this thing is setting up short term. We have our five moving averages. I will draw some horizontal support and resistance lines. And then when we're done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please like, subscribe, share, comment. Hey, anything you can do really does help with the YouTube algorithms. But I swear, just being here and giving me your time is beyond appreciated, okay? So let's get into it. And what do I like to do when I'm looking at a new stock? I like to just zoom out, right? Let, let me know what I'm looking at. and. Generally speaking, whenever you see just a monstrous, monstrous tightness at this $10 line, SPAC is the first thing that comes to my head, right? I am assuming that this thing did a D-SPAC and instead of the monster 800% up that we kind of saw today on a couple different tickers, we, you know, we go down hard. We basically lose 80% of the money, right? Going from $10, losing $8 and hitting basically two bucks. Even goes a little bit lower to like a buck something, right? Nonetheless, all right, things are definitely getting a little better and look, there were a couple moments where this thing actually stays over the eight and the 20. Couple moments where this thing stays over the eight and the 20. We're now in another moment where we're actually going over the eight and the 20. So I actually like, I like how well it's actually able to stay up. The one really important thing to know is just there could be a real violent drop once it decides to just give up these lines. You know what I mean? But hey, things are actually looking okay right now. We, we are unfortunately not over all the moving averages, and in a lot of ways, this is kind of a cluster. I'm actually glad though that the, the tightness isn't crazy crazy. So what do I mean? Let me just quickly flash Palantir. Look at how tight all these lines are, right? There's literally four that are, I mean, less than a stone's throw away, right? That is just super, super tight, okay? PRST, don't get me wrong, all five, all five of the lines that we have, they're, they're definitely close, but there's at least a little bit more of a spacing that might be comfortable, right? Because essentially, there's only three lines kind of going parallel going horizontal and right now the 8 and the 20 are kind of crushing them up right which is a good thing so it seems like we've broken these two lines we break it come back to it break it come back to it and are going back up right so what do i care about at this point i think it's all about the 200 really because look this right here, this is where I'm going to draw my line, is pretty much, sorry, a little too high, is pretty much on the 200 right now. And look, I'm not here pretending to know the math, but the 200 line's going down. Come Monday, that thing's probably going to be right here, and it actually looks like it'll be under this. So for me, I'm very, very much loving that line right there. Let me just zoom out too. Yeah, that's literally the humps that we got to get over and that should put us over the 200, assuming it goes down on Monday. I am not in this stock, but I'll tell you, 423 sounds like a good thing to know. Look, an alert is not an immediate buy notification. It's definitely a come check out the charts and see what's going on, right? But yeah, if you can break 422, you're over all five moving averages you're now starting to jump into this very nice red, 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 red with only two little green. I don't wanna call this one a little one by any means, right? But that's a lot of pain and death with only two green candles in it, you know what I mean? And essentially, red, green, red, hopefully is a nice quick green up. So um, yeah, I very much would like that. I think it's worth drawing that. I think I'm going to roughly call that 50% candle. Again, just give us an idea of what might be a hard resistance, right? And then honestly, after that, seven basically after $7, it should be a pretty quick ride to $10. So um, let's just get that bad boy right there. Close enough. Again, we're not here for perfection. I promise you good enough is, is way better than you need. Um, interesting. So what's the 50 average at right now? I got to draw this $5 line. I do actually. 
I'm gonna put this right here. Again, look, I'm not here pretending to know the math, but this line has been coming down, coming down, coming down. I think by Monday, we should basically see it right here. And I think that's gonna lead me to delete this line. The 50, you know what? No, I'm gonna keep the, I'm, I'm gonna keep them all. It's a little more tight of the lines that I want, but again, I think it'll give us um, a pretty interesting step up in a couple different ways. And these are nice percentages as I'm kind of like trying to do some math in my head real quick, but 40 cents on top of this, we're actually adding a little bit more than that. So that right there is close to a 20 banger right there. Right here, we're adding about 50 cents. That's a 10, 10 percenter right there. And then we're adding more than a dollar right there. So that's about a 20 banger right there. So I mean, this is just, there's some nice channels in there if, if either or any or all of them actually hit. So interesting ticker here it actually really is um i'm, I'm i think this 422 line is, is gonna be the money line for sure though rsi is not bad 63 i mean a little bit lower wouldn't hurt but yeah 63 is definitely low enough to where if we can break 422 there's a couple lines that we still have room to break right like 63 is has a good ways to go before 80 where i start to get worried and i mean this looks relatively high right here what are you you're 85 so i mean it actually wasn't that long ago that it had a, a, an over 80 rsi right so um, I'm liking the number and what am I trying to do right now I'm trying to zoom in on the it kind of looks like it look I will at least say volume hasn't been great okay I can't really tell what that color is so I'm gonna assume it's red that's there's basically one two three greens over the last two weeks right that's not that good the green days are definitely the ones that get much higher over the 50. Obviously those two red ones weren't great, but they were over the 50, right? So volume's gonna be king here, right? And what is that? We gotta get over 3 million shares, all right? If we can, if we can crack three and a half million shares on Monday, this will do a lot of really good things. I do gotta say though, that number makes me a little, yeah, so look, I, I often say this, right? If you go to the minute chart and you see these dashes, that's in my book what I call a shady stock, okay? When I look at, when I click into one of the dots, you'll see volume in the box right there is zero point. No one is trading any shares for just 100 shares right there, 200 right there, great. Come on, that's nothing, right? That's literally 600 bucks, 700 bucks, give or take, right? So. Um, it's really important when you look on the minute that you see good, healthy, full candles, right? Like, obviously, I'm not trying to compare this to Tesla, but yeah, on the minute, this is what I want to see. I want to see can I want to see action on every minute, right? So I'm not here telling you shady stock means don't buy it. Believe me, I love a good risk reward, right? So it's just more about knowing what the stock is. But again, 422 is the money line. I, I very much like it. All right. SAI, so you can see I have definitely been watching this stock over here, right? And it actually has the same setup as PRST does, right? We got the three lines that we're trying to get over once it does actually get over the 200. And look, it smashes the 200, comes back to the eight, smashes the 200, loses the eight, smashes the 200, right? So just kind of back to PRST. I'm not gonna go back there, but the 200 moving average, like that is what we're hunting for. You're trying to get over all of them. And then, yeah, I mean, Jesus, you can see it, right? It's it basically the same thing. This is my golden line right here. If we can crack this on SAI, it's gone, right? So um, yeah, I, I've definitely been watching this stock. Normally when I come into a stock that I haven't covered, I don't know if I've covered it on any of the other videos or I'm actually like, you, like I'm not trying to pretend I'm not covering it, right? But um, I, I, I kind of feel bad that I, I'm not gonna delete these and redraw these, right? It's a little bit of a, of a waste of time, but I'm at least kind of letting you see the lines and, and see these numbers, right? So that you can get it. But again, it's essentially the same commentary as the last one. And I'm gonna be honest with you, this is nice, right? I know it's a, it's a big percent day, but that's a sexy candle. It's not quite a full, full one. And look, this was a sexy candle and definitely failed behind it, but this one, 
doesn't have this like, did we actually break this improving, uh, important line confirmation behind it? And look, we bounce from the eight and con this is a confirmation candle in my head. It's a good strong one that already you can see broke a line that I had, right? So um, a lot of reason to believe 581 is the next target and let's just, let's just look at what that channel is, right? It, it, it's not actually a hard, um, a, a horizontal, a, um, a plateau. Sorry, I couldn't get the word out of my head, but um, that's not that bad of a of a um, of a channel. Because what I'm essentially seeing is quick up, quick down, quick up, quick down, quick up, quick down, quick up, quick down. It doesn't really count. Quick up and down. Hopefully, we just do a quick up. I don't know if we're gonna come quick down, but hey, if we can go quick up from 460 to 580, yeah, that's that's a 20 burger right there alone, right? You're adding a, a little more than a dollar, 90 cents is 20%, right? So um, some really interesting things to look at here. And again, let's take a look at what we got going on here, right? MACD is actually in the positive. MACD looks like it wants to keep going up. RSI definitely both have green over red, which is what I love. RSI number is not that high, right? Like I'm not here ringing the bell and holy crap, this thing almost had a 100 RSI definitely doesn't last right it was on a crazy pop but you know let's get to 80 and see what happens at 80 right and just look at that volume right four straight days of buying obviously four straight days and this looks a little more like the Nasdaq composite than some of the other AI stocks the funny thing is I'll tell you I know a lot of people are thinking this is an AI stock. I actually kind of still do, but I'm not sure. The thing is though, it doesn't say technology sector or it doesn't say like the this doesn't have the same sector as other AI stocks. So I'm not really sure if it actually is an AI play or not, let alone, I'm not gonna lie, I don't care, right? I don't care what companies do. I don't care any of that. Just break some lines and you know, green over red and yeah, you'll put a smile on my face, right? So this, <clears throat> excuse me, is definitely a must watch on Monday. And look, where are we? We are over all the moving averages on the weekly. There are only three, right? There's not five of them. You can see in the box over there, the 100 and the 200 don't exist. I will say, I'm obviously not gonna count all these, but that's a pretty long 50 moving average. I gotta believe we're getting close to the 100th week, okay? Because this right here is the 50th. It kind of looks like, you know, maybe 10, 20, 30, you know, it looks like a bunch of, a, and I'm not gonna count these, right? But we might be close to getting the 100. And clearly, I'm not here to pretend I know the math or not, but I'm hoping the 100 opens down here somewhere. If it opens up here, that's going to be a new resistance that we got to get ready for. But just look at this weekly, right? The MACD is coming closer to the zero, hasn't even actually been able to cross the zero on the weekly, right? So if it can actually do it, that'd be good. And I mean, that's a real nice divergence. That thing is still going up. Like they're not trying to go next to each other, right? This thing as well. They're actually almost pretty parallel, but nonetheless, it went from, I think we're going to go back near or under the red to, you know, what let's kind of keep separating and yeah that's that's good volume so sai is definitely an interesting one and theoretically what we're hoping for is prst does the same thing because you got to see the same setup right they're both i'm going to do this zoom out they're both the same d spac they're both trying to get over all the moving averages um yeah right it's just it's it's that that's the goal right and and again you can see it it's that same ten dollar d spac line right so um, I'd for sure watch this one on Monday. Hey, enjoy the weekend. I'll try to get through the rest of the viewer requests, but you know, I appreciate your time.